Happy Friday, everybody. Um, thank God it's Friday. That's the first thing I'll say. Or for some of you that, that don't want that saying, we could say uh, thank God from a, a positive energy from the universe on Friday. Um, just really uh, making a second video, which was will be 99% the last one I do of these. Usually these things are lose-lose. Um, really enjoyed yesterday, a lot of the feedback overall I think was pretty good. I think inadvertently I may have said a couple of things that uh, maybe weren't the greatest, but I mean, that's just the way it is. I don't edit these. Um, today I wanna to talk a little bit about uh, hygiene um, in the pandemic and diet and just health overall, just very short. And then I'd like to talk a little bit about getting deeper into like when you do a walk, you know, what are techniques of avoidance and distancing? If you can't avoid that, what can you do? I did make some notes, so if I look down, I apologize. Um, again, this will be the last one I do. Uh, anyway, let's get, let's get this going. Basically, um, what I think we have to do is almost get ourselves into a routine. I think it's very easy. Uh, for me, example, it's very easy not to take a shower, not to bathe. You know, which, uh, you know, all faults I share, um, hang out, uh, wear sweatpants and all that stuff. So, so what I've been trying to do is uh, take a shower each day, have breakfast at an appointed time each day, and try to get into a little bit of a routine. Not too much structure, but a little bit of a routine. I think it helps me to get my mind in order. Uh, today, for example, I did my garlic and honey, chopped garlic, three cloves. That also helps for the social distancing in the house. Believe me, it really helps, although it creates other um, ancillary issues which you know are part of this. Um, the, other, the other thing I do is I try to uh, dress uh, with different clothes each day, um, preferably shorts and a different t-shirt. Today I'm wearing my New Orleans uh, Marine Museum t-shirt. I don't know if you can see it. I changed my hat today. This is my Cortland rugby hat. Very proud of that. So uh, just in general, I think it's good to kind of get into a routine, change things up each day. The other thing is when we're walking, um, it's perplexing. I mean, you're gonna run into a lot of people. I know here in Teaneck, uh, there's always people in the path. I mean, my first preference is to avoid. So there's different techniques that you can do to avoid. Um, one of the things I do is I'll, I'll, I'll maybe do a silly walk, you know, where I'll walk, you know, in almost a skip fashion maybe do some zigzags. That usually will scare off people, um, but you don't want to scare people. I'm not saying you should scare people. Uh, the other thing I do is sometimes I'll pretend to cough. Um, that usually does the trick with most people, especially ones that are coming too close. You do a little bit of a, a cough technique. Um, I'm not going to de demonstrate it. Um, that seems to really help. Um, other things you can do is, uh, you know, just basically hand gesture, you know, like, hey, you're getting too close, you know, that kind of thing. But So a lot of times though, that doesn't work and you're gonna come into contact with people at close range, you know, keep the six feet preferably or 12 feet, whatever the right number is. Um, when you do that, then it's good to have a discussion like I was talking about yesterday. And I enjoy those discussions and there's things to avoid and there's things to talk about. I mean, the things to avoid are obviously, you don't wanna talk about hygiene that I just talked, you're my friends, so I can talk about hygiene, but I wouldn't talk about hygiene with a stranger, even if they looked like they needed to have some hygiene tips, I would avoid that. Let me straighten my glasses. Um, the other thing is you would avoid uh, political discussions, haha, which I'm very good at, as you know, and you would avoid, obviously, other very controversial discussions, um, things like uh, legal matters, sex, um, eating garlic probably would, would fall in that category in this day and age. So uh, I think, you know, we got to be, have empathy for the people that we're running across. So with that said, the, what can we talk about? And I think we can talk about sports. Um, we can talk about, you know, when the garbage or pickups are or recycling, when are they coming for the recycling? We can talk about if you want to compliment the person on their clothing. I mean, that's always a good thing. I enjoy doing that, giving people compliments. And you know, you don't wanna lie. I mean, if they, if they look dreadful, you know, you just don't say anything, right? Um, you know, like me, I look dreadful most of the time. Uh, the other thing is, uh, you know, uh, for things that I avoid, again, 
I never mention that I watch Fox News on television to anyone. So that's just another one I'll throw in there. Um, that's about it. I, I, I don't have that much else on my mind. I'm going to start walking. I'm going to get my notes up. Did I forget anything? Um, I was going to mention Mr. Sock, but that's getting hokey. Um, so I'm going to start my walk. And we'll see if we run across anyone. And right now there's people out, but it's, it's, it's not really that much. I walk in the middle of the street a lot. When I walk with my wife, she gets really upset. How you doing, man? So uh, that's the mailman for this block. They have a tough job in this time, and we really need them and uh, have a lot of respect for them. There's a woman walking a dog up ahead. I'm, I'm not going to try to catch up. Got more gardeners on the block. Um, when I walk, I just let my mind drift. Uh, I enjoy getting a little bit of exercise and just, you know, some vitamin D and uh, just enjoying the day. So anyway, this is going on way too long. So I wish everyone a good day.